Uh, hey there, can you uh, raise that lamp about six inches, right? Excellent. A butler should always look sharp. <laughs> so. At what point in the 22 season was it clear to you that the team was struggling? Oh, well, right after the Hungarian GP. I may only be the money, but even to me it was obvious. The whole thing was a sham. Yet again, Connor Sport Jackson and Butler battling it out on track. It seems as if Hang on, two seconds, Nat. OK, Devon, Aidan's lapping faster than you. I need you to let him pass, please. Devon, do you copy? Listen to me, I need you to let Aidan pass now. Butler just completely blanking the order there. Seems like he can even acknowledge it. Too true, but as you can see, no way through for Jackson. No way at all. This Connor Sport rivalry is getting heated on the track here in Hungary.
fastest five laps of fuel remaining. Okay, so the gap to the car ahead, 3.2 seconds. Nice work, mate. That brings you up a place. OK, you're in the top ten. Job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. Right, we've got enough fuel for three more laps. OK, keep an eye on that gap ahead, please. 1.9 seconds.
Okay, mate, this is the final lap of the race. Final lap. Okay, we've only got one lap of fuel remaining. Okay, here's the gap that we're trailing the car ahead by. 2.3 seconds. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. So Nats, who else out there deserves a mention today? Well, I feel like there are a couple, but let's start with Aidan Jackson. Couldn't agree more. Jackson had a brilliant race, didn't he? Yeah, we know Connor Sport has struggled all season. Jackson's done really well today, and that's in spite of the problems with his own teammates. Even before they became teammates, these two had their fair share of run-ins. It's a fascinating rivalry. You can't take your eyes off it for one moment. But nonetheless, some much-needed points today for Connor Sport. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams. And they're certainly proving themselves. Well, a good race out there again today, Adam. But what we do all want to know, what exactly happened with Devon? I mean, look, these things happen. Sometimes you're so focused on driving that little things can slip through the net. I'm sure we'll find out more at the debrief. Well, he did certainly seem to cause you some trouble out there today. And after that, and what happened in Canada, what would you say to those wondering if the old Jackson Butler rivalry is well and truly back? <laughs> No, that's, that's in the past, definitely. Uh, we're on the same team now. That's what matters. If there's anything that happens between me and Devon on track, it's because we're, we're so focused on making Connor's a success. We're bound to tread on each other's toes from time to time. So issues with Devon aside, how do you feel it went out there today? Do you think the team will be pleased with your performance? Could I have pushed it harder? Probably. It was a good enough result, but... You know, with the past issues of the car, I feel maybe we held back a little bit. I'll definitely be putting in the work for the next race weekend, for sure. So, you mentioned the car there. In that regard, Connor Sport's not had the easiest of times so far this season. Has that all been sorted? Are those reliability concerns well and truly behind you? I hope so. I mean, today was good, yeah. There was no issues with the car. It's, uh, it's always difficult when a driver brings everything they've got and the car lets them down at the last minute. But, you know, I've been told the team has, has got it all under control, so... Yeah, we'll see what happens in the next few races. Appreciate it. Thank you.
Okay. I'll leave that in your capable hands. <sighs> Devon. You had a problem with the team order today? Didn't happen. What? Look, I know everyone's saying I ignored it, but it didn't happen. I never got the order. Check the comms. Shoddy workman always blames his tools, eh? Check the comms. Okay, we check the communication pipeline. Fix it. This cannot happen again. Typical. Aiden, listen. What's the point? It's just Devon being Devon. And what? That makes it okay? He's an arrogant... No, you're right to call him out. But imagine if we didn't give him certain freedoms. He'd be even harder to manage. As his father, I know. Aiden, you're the best driver that we have. And it's right for you to put Devon in his place. He needs it. The team needs it. Thanks. Between you and me, I don't think this team is right for me. I think... Honestly, we don't deserve you. And I know that you're being discussed at other teams, so just keep doing what you're doing. Sure. I'm sorry if I've spoken out of turn. About Devon? <laughs> Not at all. You know the best way to keep Devon in his place? What's that? Beat him. <laughs>